Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you, my beloved brothers and sisters. I would like to address a very important matter today. As we grow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us. We are tested with various different things. And one of these tests is that the Almighty sometimes gives us. He gives us certain things and we should understand just like if he were to take things away and that is a test this too is a test of the almighty so sometimes when we don't have much we tend to cry to the almighty we pray hard we attend the prayers uh, we you know would love to be seen to repent to the almighty for whatever bad we've done because we want lots of goodness to come in our direction due to the struggling that we are going through However, when the opposite happens, a lot of us actually forget that this is part of the plan of the Almighty. It's temporary. Just like your difficulty is temporary, your ease in this world shall also be quite temporary. Remember that. So the graph actually moves up and down. A day that is easy, a day that is difficult, a day that is of profit, a day that is of loss. What you need to know is when the Almighty tests you by giving you, you need to develop certain qualities. What are they? Number one, show gratitude to the Almighty by thanking Him, by becoming a better person closer to the Almighty. So pray properly, uh, worship the Almighty alone, praise Him, declare His remembrance every so often. And remember that He is the greatest, He is the giver. Even if you've got a brain, he gave you the brain. So if people think that I got what I got because of my brain and it's me, don't forget who gave you you. Who gave you your brain? Who gave you the idea, the ability? I've known of some wealthy people in my country, Zimbabwe, and they've become wealthy, I think, yes, as part of what the Almighty wanted for them. But he placed them in the right place at the right time, at the right moment, and they made their money. So when that happened, did they become closer to the Almighty or distant? If they became closer, well done, you're succeeding. When you have made money, and I've seen a lot of people who've made money and become so arrogant, their attitude stinks. No one wants to talk to them, but people are good to them because of their money. Actually, people are good to their money, not to them. So I've known of so many, but there are few whom their money makes them even better. So you have more, and I challenge you, the more you get, become a better person. Show your humbleness. Number one, your closeness to the Almighty. Number two, character and conduct. You must develop your character and conduct. If you don't develop your character and conduct, as you get money, you are actually at a loss. You haven't understood the plan of the Almighty. Not only money, but ease. You passed your examination with all A's. You're known as a top student. Does that make you arrogant? Does it make you haughty? I'm the one and so on. Or does it make you a person who's humble? You're still a normal human being. You're still your good old self. You know, your friends are your friends, etc. If you cannot cope, you know, cannot manage to communicate with every single person, at least you are polite. At least you try. Okay. So your character conduct. Sometimes people get authority. They, they are propelled into position. A position of leadership whether it's in your company at your school at your workplace in government uh, in the council uh, anywhere else anywhere else if you've been given a promotion and you found yourself propelled into a position of authority I promise you that is not forever it is very temporary during your days make sure that you serve the people in the best possible way. They will remember you, they will pray for you, and when you leave that position, you will not regret. People will remember you with the kindest of prayers. I know of people who've been propelled into positions of authority on different levels, they become nasty. People, just because they're the bosses, you are the boss in your workplace, and suddenly 
your mouth is so foul you use the worst language to refer to people who work for you and remember your company your business your workplace nothing is going to be successful if there is no good character at that particular workplace so if you have beautiful character, people smile at each other, greet each other every morning, assist each other, you know, thank you, please, etc. All these polite terms, uh, you know, you can uh, put the religious terms in it. Jazakallah khair, alhamdulillah, barakallah feek, salam alaikum, etc. And, you know, even if the people are not Muslim, for example, it does not mean you should not be polite. You should be the most polite person ever, ever. And that's a challenge. If you want to be a good believer, one of the signs of the best of believers, they are kind, compassionate, brilliance of character towards those who they interact with, starting with the people at home. And we're talking about your workplace and authority. In fact, even in the house, the father has a little bit of authority, actually, because he's the father of the home, the mother as well. She has a certain you know, authority within the home because she's the mother of the home. Now, that doesn't give them a green light to actually swear their children and those who are in the house or the helpers and the others be careful a day will come when you will regret your action if not in this world then in the next but i think it will happen before in this world before the next so remember my brothers and sisters when you're propelled into a position of authority humble yourself humble yourself down look at the prophets of the almighty they were humble people beautiful people they taught by example they actually led by example it is something amazing so when you're propelled into position of authority you're the boss do not speak to those who work for you or who, to those who are under your authority in a way that is low and in a way that is actually derogatory vulgar abusive etc because you know what a day will come when you're going to pay about it, when you're going to pay for it. The same applies to those who are step moms and step dads in the home. Make sure that you look after those children that belong to your spouse in a very fair and just way. Because a day will come when the Almighty will actually pounce on you. Don't oppress children. These are your kids. Even sometimes people who are not step moms or dads, real mothers and fathers. The way they treat their kids, just because the child is making a choice slightly different from what you dreamt of all along, you now have a heart full of hate and you abuse them and you, you torture them. That is unacceptable. Remember this. So the Almighty has put you in a position. All these positions are actually just a test while you're in this position. I remember an ambassador of a certain country had met me once when he was newly appointed to a certain country and he told me you know I, I, I would like you to give me a few good words uh, that would help me during my four-year stay in this country and I told him I said your excellency I have one piece of advice actually and that is if you serve the people and if you make sure that you respect everyone whom you interact with from this nation when you leave after four years, people will remember you for the good that you did, for the way you spoke to them, for the way you facilitated during your short period of time with these people. And they will pray for you, you know, forever. And I promise you, this man stuck to it and he spent his four years serving the people. He was such a brilliant man. He had uh, earned the, the love of all the people he interacted with when he left surely the people were saying wow that was a good man same applies to every one of us wherever you are it's just a short period of time remember this my brothers and sisters watch your tongue the tongue actually tells who you are the tongue this tongue is evidence for what is in the heart when your tongue uh, is abusive it shows a corrupt heart it shows a dirty heart clean that tongue and no matter who you are like I say position of authority secondly you may be a teacher you may be a headmaster you may be for example uh, uh, maybe a manager at your workplace uh, perhaps a headman somewhere be careful be careful how you speak I promise you a day will come when you won't have that authority anymore you could be a mayor you could be an, a minister you could be anyone remember serve the people speak. sorry speak politely to them because a day will come when you will definitely definitely learn your lesson uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease 
And that was the message I had for you today, to say, if you are propelled into position of authority, if you have money, if you have position, authority, and power, remember that's a test. It's going to go. It is definitely going to go. A day will come when you will be powerless. So it's just you're at the top of the mountain at the moment. And subhanAllah, you need to seize the opportunity to serve the people and those around you in such a way that in such a way that when you don't have that power or position anymore, you would actually be remembered with the best of prayers and with goodness, kindness in every single way from the people. And uh, this is something unique.